What is up guys, Mr. Fatslim here. So, some more Idris reviews for you today. Uh, Darren over at Easy Vape sent these over, so a big thank you to him. Uh, this is the Sluice Juice range. Now, I've got loads to review. They're all over there among the Cornish liquids and all that stuff. But in this video, we're going to be reviewing two from Sluice Juice. Uh, Gold Stash and Lemon Meringue. Now, I have tried these, so that's how I'm kind of rushing these two out because I'm fear I'm going to use them all. Uh, but anyway, over on easyvape.com, or easy-vape.com, you can get them for um, one 10ml bottle is £4, and they do it in 3mg, 6, 12 and 18mg. Uh, you can get 30ml for 10 99 50ml for 15 99 and 100ml, 10 10ml bottles for 29 99 So, fantastic price. Uh, Easy Vape sends me a lot of the liquid, so a huge thank you to them. Darren's an awesome guy, he sends us quite a lot of stuff. But yeah, the little bottles, I'll show you this first. That's a little bottle there, so that's a golden stash one, her gold stash. Slush juice, it's got all your kind of warning there. But these are TPD notified, so they've got a little thing here. It's peel and reveal labels, so if you peel that and then peel it back. Eventually, you see you've got all your warnings there, all your stuff about it. So it's peel and reveal labels, quite cool. Uh, so yeah, the first one we're going to do is gold stash, right? So gold stash is this one. Now I've got the moonshot tin. Somebody was asking about this as well. Uh, it's a moonshot tin that the Segeli moonshot tank came in, and one of my friends turned it into a mod. It's a PWM. It's a for anybody that doesn't know. It's a series mod, so your batteries go in positive up and positive down, that kind of thing. Uh, and you can get up to the full 7.4 volts from your batteries. And it's got a little potentiometer there that you can go from 0 to 100, and it just lets you kind of put out what power you want. So it's a kind of adjust to taste one, but that's what that is. And I'm going to sneeze. Uh, <laughs> Oh, I maybe delete that out, I don't know. Uh, but yeah, it's a little adjust to taste one, so you just adjust adjust it as you go along, take a vape from it, see what you like. If you're using a PWM, please be careful with your Ohm's Law, all that kind of stuff. But anyway, we've got the Twisted Messies, and it's a little simple dual, if I can get this undone, a dual cl uh, Clapton build, and it's just cancel wire, and it comes out around about 0.6. So we'll get this dripped up. Now the bottles, these two seem to be okay. The odd bottle I've got from Slush Juice, they are a bit hard to press. Uh, if anything I would say softer bottles, they are a tiny bit hard to press. But I can tell that's just because of the TPD thing. Uh, but they are a bit hard to press, which is kind of annoying. But anyway, this is Gold Stash, so we'll give this a little try. And oh my oh my, this is how I have to review this one now and it won't get reviewed <coughs> because I won't have any left. This one is a custard, right? Uh, now the description on the website says, where is it? A down and dirty custard with flashes of vanilla and a secret tipple of sauce, or a tipple of secret sauce. What I'm getting from it is you're getting the custard, the custard hits you straight, straight away, but it's not like any custard I've tried before. Most of the custards I've tried, it's a really thick, heavy custard, and it kind of, it's either one of those ones you could vape it all day, or you could just go to it every so often, you couldn't carry it about all day and vape it. But this one is a lot sweeter. This one isn't as thick, it isn't as heavy, and it's nice and palatable. And the bit of vanilla in there as well. When you when you first exhale, you're getting the vanilla, and then it immediately falls with the custard. Now I can't quite seem to work out what the t the secret sauce is, but to me, it tastes a bit no kind of look at there. It 
to me, it almost tastes a little bit kind of toffee-ish. Uh, either toffee-ish or kind of fudge-ish. <laughs> fudge -ish. that's a new word for you. It tastes either fudgy or toffee. That's what I kind of picking from it. And it's not, it's like tiny little hints of it. It's not kind of a flavour that you're going to go, oh, that's there. It's one of those ones you'll let. Actually, it is there once you get told about it. And it is the custard, it's a really nice sweet custard. It's not like a, a sickening kind of thick desserty custard, it's, it is, it's a nice custard. It reminds me kind of uh, like, what's the name of it? I think it's Bird's Custard or something. It's a little blue, red and yellow packet. Uh, it usually comes in powder form and you make it up yourself. It reminds me of that, it tastes that kind of sweet taste of that. And it really is, it's so nice. So that one definitely gets a huge 10 out of 10. That one is absolutely beautiful, it really is. Uh, the next one, Lemon Meringue. Now, Lemon Meringue is kind of... It can be a difficult one to get. <coughs> Pardon me. It can either be great, or else it can be too meringue or too lemony. This one, however, is... Oh, Holy Jesus, so nice. Now, I'm using it in a new dripper that I got today, just to test it out, because I heard so many good things about it. Now, I have tried this juice in the Twisted Messies, and I know what it tastes like in there, so I put it in this. It's my little Mad Dog clone RDA that I just got from Fast Tech. Now, it's a little dripper like that. The airflow shoots in and up the coils. It's not bottom fed, it is side fed, but this this it kind of slants in, so it's quite a cool little dripper. Now, I'm going to put this in here because I have used it in here, but I want to let you know what it's like on camera. Uh, drip this in. And as I say, with the bottles, these two seem to be really soft, but the other ones, some of them seem to be a tiny bit hard, and it is a little bit annoying. But that's that dripped. So yeah, this is a dual cantle Clapton as well. And this is 0.64 and we've got it at 100 watts, which is 8 volts. I'll give this a little try. Oh, oh, it's just so nice. It really is. Hey, <laughs> this one, the first... You can't even say the first flavour. The first thing that hits you is a beautiful, beautiful lemon meringue pie. Now, I don't know if the pie is supposed to be in there, because it just says lemon meringue, but to me, you're tasting that kind of lemon curd with the, the nice thick meringue that's kind of hard on the top, but soft on the inside, that kind of gooey texture. But you're also picking up, and I, I really don't know if it's there, but to me it tastes like it. You're also picking up little hints of the base, not the crust around the side, but the little base. Uh, because I don't like the crust on the side of lemon meringue pies. Usually it's a bit hard, I don't like that texture. And it's got a kind of burntish taste that end, so I don't really like that. Whereas the under part of the base is nice and gooey, along with everything else. To me, that's exactly what you're tasting with this. If I had to say, <coughs> I can have more, the, the strongest flavour that's in it to me is the meringue. The meringue is what stands out the most to me. Uh, the lemon and the pie are kind of, kind of under the meringue, but not too much under it. They are still there, but the most dominant flavour in it is the meringue. You can taste the kind of, the hard top. And that gooey bit around the oh around the cut is so so sweet and so nice. And this one I could easily vape all day, every day, trust me. It is so sweet, but not too sweet. I mean it's to some people it might be too sweet, but to me I could vape this all day every day it is just so nice it's so sweet it actually leaves you feeling as if you've just ate a bit of the lemon meringue pie that's the way it feels and it's just so sweet and the more you turn it up 
know I keep saying it's so sweet, but it is, it's just so nice. I think it kind of deserves a lot warmer vape. <coughs> Can I choke on that? I think it deserves a warmer vape. I've tried it on different builds. I had it in the Twisted Messies and it was just a normal Cantho build. Uh, and it was it was okay. Uh, but the more warmer it got, especially with Clapton coils, the flavour just pops straight away. And it's so nice. And it feels as if your saliva is that thickly coated with it. It's just always there and it is just so, oh, it's beautiful. It really is. Uh, <laughs> and that's how I had to review these two because I've been vaping them non-stop since I got them and I, I'm nearly running out and I thought I need to, need to review this before I fucking run out. But it's so nice. It's just, oh. And then the stripper as well. It's just the flavour just, oof, just hits you. It so does. Now, as I say, <coughs> over on easy dash or hyphen vape.com you can get them from £4 up to twenty nine ninety nine, which is a great price in my opinion, especially for the quality of the liquids you're getting. And I mean, the little bottles look cool, the little peel and reveal labels as well. Uh, the only thing I would say is, some of the bottles are a little bit hard to press, and it's kind of annoying, especially if you've got a dripper, because if you're out in the street and you're, you just pop it out to kind of drip in, it is a little bit annoying if it's too hard to kind of squeeze. One of them did hurt my fingers a little bit because when I'm using it I kind of squeeze with my thumb and my middle finger and it did get a little bit sore. So that's the only thing I would say. But as for the contents of the bottle, oh my god, these two, if, if these two are anything to go on, the rest are going to be so sweet. But we'll see how it goes. There is a couple there I'm not really looking forward to but we'll see what they like on camera anyway. Uh, but yeah, that's it guys. I'll check, uh, I'll put links down below, so check out Easy Vape, their website, their Facebook and their Instagram. I think they've got Twitter as well, so I'll put that down below. But yeah, a huge thank you to Darren again for sending these out, really is appreciated. And Sluice Juice as well, because no doubt they communicate with each other. But yeah, check out Easy Vape, I mean, their website, I think it's brilliant. If I have a quick look on it, <coughs> they've got all sorts of hardware. All sorts of e-liquid, I mean some of the UK's best e-liquid is on there, it's just amazing and it's, it's, they've got easy quit, they've got their 50-50 range, their sub home range, some of the element stuff, uh, the sluice juice, the cornish and they've got exceptional vapes as well so it really is, there's a lot to choose from, the prices are fantastic and not only the price is fantastic, it's all there, it tells you that's the prices including VAT, there's no kind of hidden charges. And you get free UK shipping as well. You can't say better than that, guys. That's that's really nice. That's cool. So yeah, any questions at all, or if you want to see anything reviewed, leave it down in the comments below. I'm aware of it now because I'm starting to ramble a bit because I was so happy to review that because it's so sweet. Now I can go and vape the rest of it and no get into trouble. <laughs> Thanks for watching, guys. Take care, and I'll see you on the next one.